All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back. We are rolling right away with the next video. It is Furman in the conference championship. Now, we do have some other games we can simulate. Um, let's look here. Uh, you know, I will check. The, uh, let's look. Tal okay, whoa, that's a close game. Towson does win, so they're number one. Uh, and then we'll, we'll get through the rest of those games after we play Furman. But I want to jump right into this. I'm excited for this one, guys. Um, last video... Uh, it's, it's probably just, I think it's like a 10 minute video. We just went over like some season stats. So if you guys want to check that out, um, we did another scout on Furman. Uh, we played them earlier this season, but they have their starting running back is hurt. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is exciting. We're in the Georgia Dome. We missed out on this last year. So this has definitely been a successful season going for the SEC championship. Oh, it's beautiful. No weather can affect us here today. We're in the dome for our contest between the Furman Paladins. And this the is beautiful. I love it. It's almost time for these two teams to battle for the SEC championship. And here come the Bulldogs. Man, look at the people in the background. There's actually, like, when you run this game on HD and 4K, you can actually see, like, all the little details. It's pretty cool. There we go, McIntyre. First in the NCAA. We're going to try to get him to 2,000 yards. So I think we can do it. I think we can do it. We got to get some this game because I don't know how the ball game's going to go. You got to remember, guys, our rating is still pretty bad. <laughs> our overall rating is pretty bad. So we could uh, we could easily get blown out in a ball game depending on who we play. Like if we play Army, I, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to stop Army. I don't think I will. I mean, maybe. But their defense will be probably – they'll de their defense will be pretty good. So – Furman is going to receive. I love it. Win does not matter, so it's kind of pointless. But all right, let's kick it off. Hope you guys are excited for this one. The Paladins, the rivalry continues. We meet again. I can't remember. Did we play them on the road? Were we on the road or at home? I can't remember. I, I literally can't remember. Yeah, I have to look at. I mean, it's, it's, I think it was like week four, week five, maybe. But here we go. All right. So Anthony Gant, the freshman star running back in the backfield, but they got a good quarterback. And they're going to hand it off right away. And they make the stop at the 33. Gant gets six yards on the carry. All right. We're going to accept our defense a little bit because the only thing is they don't have, so last time we played them, they had those, was that guy, I can't remember. I honestly don't. I maybe should have gone back and watched a little bit of the video the last time we played them. I should have done some scouting on my own. But we're there. Oh, nice. Okay. Fast deflection. That was good. I had to go for the pick there, but I, the animation took me back behind the receiver. So, thank, thankfully, Payne got the bat down. I hope we show up for this game, man. I really do. There's games where your, teams, your team will show up, and there's games where the other team will just play lights out and dominate. So I'm hoping it's, and we'll see. Play action, we're there. Oh, that was pass interference, okay. <laughs> Maybe it was, was it? Well, he wasn't behind the line of scrimmage. That was definitely pass interference. We got away with that. We got away with that one, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it, we need this. It's a rivalry game. Y'all can blame the rest if you want, I don't care. All right, here we go. Regardless, we got the ball at the 35-yard line. We got to watch that impact linebacker. But Brad's talking about McIntyre, and uh, we're gonna flip it though. All right, here we go. They're in man coverage. They took the wide receivers. Oh, already breaking tackles. I like to see that. He wasn't in the zone, but he's already getting that broken tackle animation. Townsend got rocked, but that's okay. Yeah, look at this. That guy just whiffed. He made him he made him whiff on the tackle. Good start. We may get McIntyre 2,000 yards in this game. He's not that's definitely reasonable for the way he's playing on the season. How you doing, Murray? How you doing? Alright, here we go. Got focus. Let's get Washington going. Here's the option. All right, not bad. Good. It's a good solid run there. That's what we wanted at the triple option. Clean, a clean play, no uh, clean pitch, no fumbles. 
Let's hand it off this time, though. I try to pick this first down or uh, pick up the first down. See, we're at a 75% win percentage now over the course of uh, two seasons. Now, I think that's messed up. I think I, I my profile got screwed up for one game, so we should have one more game in the win column. Oh, I couldn't get the uh, third one. Uh, probably go back to oh, what do I do here? I gotta go back to triple option. I might actually I may go up the middle here with Jackson. We'll see what happens. I mean the strong safeties aren't they don't scare me at all, but look at the look at the space on the left. Yeah, I think we just keep uh, early jump, yeah, we'll just keep it. There we go, that's fine. Oh well. You got the first down, that's all I care about. If it's third and one, as long as he gets one yard, we're gonna do no huddle here. Safeties are coming down, but we should be able to block them. There we go. Look at the tight end. Look at the tight end with the block. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Let's go. What? That was a fantastic blocking on that one. Flex, Townsend. Flex on them. <laughs> Flex on them. I wish the replays weren't so zoomed in. I don't know why it's... I mean, I really don't know why it's like that, but... That was fantastic blocking. Coaches love to see that downfield blocking. It's beautiful. Well, first, well, first it was a tight end seal on the edge, and then Jackson with the downfield block on the corner or safety somebody. All right, good start, good start. I really do want to win this. This is our number one goal coming into the season. You guys know this. Last year we couldn't beat Western Carolina. We lost all four non-conference games. By the way, I'm sure you guys remember that. Um, this season, our goal was to win the SEC. It's as simple as that. That was our goal, and we we were seven up. We were up seven zero with that with that goal in mind right now. So, all right. Um, I don't love this formation. Yeah, I thought, I was wondering if they do a counter because they got they had two receivers or no. What were they in? They had one receiver right. Did they have two tight ends on that play or one? Either way, they uh, I, had to, I had to guard the edge there because they can easily break that out to the outside. Playing kind of aggressive here. We're playing deep zone with Edwards. But look at the run up the middle. There's uh, Shmuel Anderson with the tackle. Goal line, third and inches. They, I tell you what, the CP, the CPU loves. They love doing play action here. So that's why I'm staying with this. I'll, I'll concede. I'll give up the first down on the run. But I want to guard the play action. But he's wide open. Wow. I wish I could have told our guys not to bite on the play action because I knew that's what they were gonna do. I would have given up three yards. I would have given up a three-yard run. But I was trying to, you know, I was trying to get a bat down and make it fourth down. All right. Why is my flashlight on my phone on? Hold on a second. All right, we're good. We're good. I wonder how long it's been on. Oh, oh, nice. Controller. Oh, shoot. Hold on. <laughs> my controller. All right, there we go. My controller disconnected for a second. I've got it. I don't have Bluetooth on this computer, on this PC that I built. Uh, it's just hooked up to Ethernet. I don't have uh, Wi-Fi or Bluetooth enabled on it. So I've got, I've just got a 10-foot USB cable that I use. There's Anderson again. I got a 10-foot USB cable I use for a PS4 controller. And I mean, I use it on everything. I use it on Steam games, uh, Rocket League that I've been playing. Um, I really don't play that many games though. Like this and Rocket League, the only two games I've played in like this whole this whole year so far. That guy's what? Oh, he threw it. Let's go, Pain. Let's freaking go! Is that a pick six? There's nobody there. Travis Payne. get a pick six to your resume. NFL corner. So there was a guy wide open. Um, there was a guy legit wide open over the middle of the field. You, might, you guys might, might want to go back and look at that. And I thought for sure he was throwing it to that guy. It was going to be at least like a 25, 30 yard pass or gain.
He makes the PAT. A lot of game left. Four minutes remaining in the quarter. And our score, the Citadel. 14, Furman, nothing. Thomas gets set to kick this one away. And it's off. All right. I love it. I love the start. Pick six. We've got a couple of those. Three. That's three on the season. I just checked the stats uh, in the video before. So I think Edwards and Gilmore both had one. And then add one to Travis Payne. And that was a deep one, too. What was that, 78 yards? 14 nothing. I love it. Yeah, what the hell? I, don't, I love that quote. <laughs> what the hell is Lee Corso talking about? <laughs> I <laughs> love that quote. I, I just realized he was saying that. And I forgot how it goes. But they didn't win back in college, and boy, she, could she cook. <laughs> I wonder if that's in the. That's not in the. Well, I legit have. Like I said, guys, I haven't played any of the newer games in so long. Uh oh, we're there. Nice. Nice. Broke a tackle, but he was running sideways. All right, here we go. Third and 12 already. Defense is showing up. Their quarterback looks a little rattled. I mean, he's a true freshman playing in a big stage. Uh, we're, we did 3 3 5 uh, Cougar, but we uh, pinched up at the line of scrimmage. There we go. Robinson. Stuff him. Set him down. Yeah, they just didn't get enough yardage on that pass. All right. Good start, guys. We're taking this. We're taking this rivalry. You aren't going aren't to be this. Y'all aren't Western Carolina. Uh oh, uh, early jump. Oh God, get on! No, go! F Come on. Okay, I'm just gonna stay back here. <laughs> I can't do. I'm so bad at. Uh oh, ah, fair catch. That's not worth it. I'm so bad at doing the great jump. I literally like. I think I realized like I, for some reason I always want to hold down X, and I think all you gotta do is just tap X. Because I'm just so used to like wanting to sprint all the time. All right, we're gonna do something crazy here. No, actually, they're they're look at this formation they're in. I was gonna call a pass, but oh now they shift. But we hold on, who's the who who's the other? Do, I don't. What are they doing? They keep messing me up here. All right, you know what? Okay, there we go. That works. <laughs> oh, I couldn't pitch it. Damn it. Oh, that was a touchdown if I pitched it. I tried. All right, let's do this again. Who, who's the so who's the other dude? That's Gant. Do uh, you see that guy lined up over the tight end? Oh, here we go. Oh no, it's too uh, too soft of a pass there. But I was scared to bullet it. So you guys, did you guys see that number twenty three is Anthony Gant, their running back. He's lined up. He was lined up in that formation. And you know what? I'm gonna flip this. I'm okay with it because uh, let's let's make him play both ways. Let's get him tired. There we go, Jackson. That's all I need. One yard. All I need is one yard. So important on third down to rely on the offensive line to get a good push, and that's what they did there to pick up the first down. First down, ten to go. Ball on the forty-nine. The defense is looking for the pass as they bring out their dime package. All right, early jump. I hope they. Did we get that? No, no, no offsides. Okay. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Second down. Ball on the 46-yard line. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna go double option here. The bulldog. Um. Uh, hold the block. Oh, stay in. Okay, not bad, not bad. Third and five. We got this. We can. Yeah, we can. Uh, let me think here. I think we can pick this up. The only thing is, if I don't get this, I'll probably punt because I don't want to be too aggressive and give them the ball. I don't. I mean, we could get the first down, but I also don't want to give them the ball. Lose momentum, but that might have been an offsides. Oh, but he broke the tackle. It doesn't matter. Back and Tiger's gonna pick it up on his own. 36 yards for him. Still in the first quarter, so there's plenty of time for him to get his 2,000. I forgot how how many did he have? He was like 1,880 or something like that. It wasn't that many. No, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound. I Marcella Washington was at 875. 
Oh, I ran into the blocker. That's not going to work. Oh, look at that cutback. <laughs> look at that little stop on the dime and turn up field. Got three yards out of it. So I can't remember. I literally just recorded a video of the stats. It's it's literally like, well, minus the time of this video. I recorded the stats update, and then it's been like five minutes, and I went back to record this one. So I'll call a pass play, but I may scramble. Actually, yeah. I love that formation because it's so easy to audible into the flux bone. And we got the early jump, but look at this hole. Tried to spin. <laughs> we didn't get an offsides, but another first down. I really like that. So you do shotgun split twins, and then I can just easily audible into the flex bone twins because it's the exact same alignment, except one is flex bone with the quarterback under center and a wing back and full back, and then the shotguns obviously split, split uh, running backs. Let's see P.A. Reed. Let's run. Oh, there was space. I, he broke the tackle there. It would have been space there. All right. Second and one. I think I'm going to hand it off to Marcelo here just to give McIntyre a bit of a break. They're in man coverage on those receivers, so the those two guys are out of the play. Oh, there's space. Marcelo. Dive for it. <laughs> I could have just ran it in, but I love the dive animation. <laughs> Let's go. 20 nothing. We are cruising right now. Yep. Still plenty of time. Still plenty of time, but we are cruising right now. They're not able to stop us on defense. Clearly. And he adds the extra point. The down is just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score, the Citadel, 21, Furman. 10 plays, 61 yards. Thomas looks ready to kick this one off. He sends it off. If this game turns into a blowout, we can have some fun. We can, uh, you know, you got any of you guys watching, feel free to comment. I mean, like, I, I appreciate any comments. Um, I'll reply back to every one of them, so. We'll see what happens. I mean, there's still plenty of time, but if we get into a blowout, I mean. I mean, I can talk smack all I want. This is a rivalry game. We're defense is playing solid. They're not moving the ball. But if it's a blowout, man, we're just, we're just going to cruise. We're just going to cruise on them. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Oh, nice bat down. Good play, Atkins. Atkins has played really well this uh, this season, especially the. I feel like he's gotten so much better at the end of the season. So I don't like I don't like the balance formation here because they can really do any play call, <clears throat> and I don't know what to expect. They could send those tight ends on streaks like they are right now. Oh, I don't even know where that guy is. Okay, see, that's ah, that's the problem. That's the problem with playing the flat when you play the uh, – when you're not playing the boundary side. Like, I, I have no idea if that guy – that guy ran an out route, which is the perfect route for them to run, and I had literally no idea where it was. Gantz in the zone. But it's a toss. Oh, whoa, whoa, it's pass. It's pass. What are they doing? Get out of here. Sit down, man. Look at that big hit from Edwards. Interesting play call. Gant was in the zone, and they decided to run the the uh, halfback pass, which almost never works. I I mean, unless you have a scrambling quarterback and like, okay, so I mean, most most running backs can actually make that pass. It's not going to be very accurate, but if you get like an athlete at running back with throw power and then a scrambling quarterback, then sure, maybe it'll work. <laughs> but um, half they knew most of the time it's not going to work. Robinson, let's go. Threw it right to him. Did uh, Anderson get some pressure? I don't know if we'll be able to see this. Oh, yeah, look, look. No? Okay. I thought maybe we got some pressure, but, yeah, Robinson was just sitting in that zone. Their quarterback's rattled. He's throwing two picks already. That one wasn't it. I mean, 
Let's do something crazy. That one wasn't terrible, but well, it was pretty bad. He threw it right to him. <laughs> it was pretty bad. All right. Um, yeah, we're going to block Dingle, our, our Dingle tight end there. Early jump. We're throwing this up. We're throwing this up. Let's go. Let's go, McIntyre. I don't care. It's, I would have had the rushing yards. So give me those receiving yards. Let's blow this out. Screw the Paladins. Let's blow this out, man. SEC is ours this year. 27-0. We got four touchdown lead. Look at that. That's a beautiful pass, man. What a beautiful pass from Townsend. It would have been so easy for him to just throw that out of bounds. But he kept it. That was a perfect pass. He kept it in stride with McIntyre and the safety. Couldn't get over. I mean, he was there, but just the way he threw that. Like, if he threw it any more to the to the left side, the center of the field, it could have been bad. But, man, why do we have... <laughs> Come on, get off of me. I'm diving on top of him. At, at every single extra point, we have somebody that gets flattened on their back. But, it's all right. Oh, man. There we go. We're wrapping up on the tackles, too. So, apparently, their quarterback is rattled. Only 54 yards. Their quarterback is definitely rattled. We're showing up. We've already got a pick six and then another interception. Now they're running tosses. Oh, we got... There we go. Look at Atkins. Look at the coverage. That is incredible range to be able to come from the left side... Basically, the, he's playing middle linebacker, but on the left side of the formation to come all the way across and get him for only a four-yard gain. All right, we got to watch these receivers. Gant's in the zone, though. What, what are they doing? They're running. Interesting that they run with the fullback when Gant's in the zone. And, I mean, see, it's possible for true freshmen to get the dot. Anthony Gant's a true freshman. He's got that dot. So they can't switch, which is why I put it on the punter because I thought, I thought surely the punter won't keep it the whole season. They give it like to Thomas Robinson or even with me with Edwards or something. But triple, oh, this is not working. Yeah, what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? You can't run that against Thomas Robinson. Against oh, he got oh, that was what happened. He got hit by the corner there. Pain came down. Look at that. He got a, he got affected by the uh, by the block, but he still got a hit on him. Yeah, they're they're all over the place. They're rattled right now. Totofi awaits the snap. I think their punter sucks too. Like they they're not punting. Yeah, well that wasn't too bad. Signals for a fair catch. The, the first punt he had was terrible. But all right, we are in incredible control of this game. I was not expecting this. I mean, I was kind of hoping that we would uh, get out of here with a with a pretty 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 easy win but let's get interesting there we go now Marcelo's open oh that was a nasty juke that was a nasty juke we juked on the Pope <laughs> number one who is that his name his last name is Pope I don't know if that's a recruit probably a recruit unless it's a original player well it's not original player but uh, he, I, what I'm trying to say is it may be a freshman, but we're, we're trying to run some pass plays here. Let's mix it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, I guess I could have hit Haston if I hit him early, but that was a little risky. <clears throat> okay. Um, here's the deal. Mr. Haston is in the zone. So you know, you know we got to run this play at least once every game. You know we have to. I feel like they're ready for it. Well, they're in man. Sometimes it doesn't work as much in man. Is that corner? Well, but the corner, see, we motion Haston this way, so you get that. Look at the corner running. Uh oh. Yeah, it didn't work. Our offensive lineman got blown up. All right, that's okay. Third and 11. We're not going to do anything crazy here. Well, what do I want to go with, though? I mean, we're, we're in control of the game. I'm gonna go this. I never run this play because I feel like it's just a mess. Like these routes are really confusing. Not confusing, but there's a lot going on here. Like I don't even know. Um, 
Mm, there's nothing there. Yeah. I couldn't force it. There was nothing there. We'll punt this time. We can't get a touchdown on every drive. All right, that's, that looks pretty solid. Yeah, inside the 10. Beautiful. All right, let's make him play offense. Well, let's let's get our defense, and we'll make him try to move the ball on us. That's all I was trying to say. White comes to the line with three wide. Uh oh, uh oh, nice tackle, nice tackle. I could have been bad. I could have been a 91-yard touchdown. I would not have. I would not have loved that. There are a lot of interesting plays in this 3-3-5. Like you get, you could do like double spies with like one on your defensive end and one on your linebacker. Like this one, we're gonna. Oh, let's toss. Trying to get the edge. Oh, look at that. There's Atkins. So we did. We uh, Atkins has great awareness, man. I don't know what his actual. I don't know what his actual rating is, but we uh, we uh, did a player audible to put him in his little soft uh, soft zone there. But he he read that play. So this one, uh, this one, Reed is gonna man up. So we're gonna rotate. Uh oh, let's pass again. What are y'all doing? Pick it up. <laughs> what are y'all doing? Why would you do a trick play down 28 nothing? That's the second time they've done that. Yeah, they're they're definitely rattled. They they're not. They somehow squeaked out of the SEC SEC West. I don't know what I just said. That made no sense. They somehow made it out of the SEC West, but they're not ready for this. Look at McIntyre. Who won it last year? Who won the SEC West last year? Was it Elon? Because we play, we didn't play in the game last year. We we lost to Western Carolina. They went to the SEC championship. I, I can't remember. I think it was Elon. Because I know it wasn't. I mean, Prairie View and M went like 0 and 12, and I know it wasn't either the Alabama schools. I don't think it was. Uh, what's that other school? Oh, look at this, Jackson. Almost got it. Uh, who else was in there? Mississippi, the Mississippi Valley. I don't think it was them. It had to have been Elon, unless it was Furman again. Maybe it was Furman. I don't know. There we go. Give it to Jackson up the middle. All right, it's a party. It is a party. Hope the fans are having fun in Atlanta because this one's over. <laughs> I mean, 35 points. That's we, we. They're not coming back. There's no way. There is no way. And you know what, guys? I may even. Uh, I, I'm gonna probably pause this at halftime just because I want to. Uh, I kind of want to make some breakfast. I'm kind of starving. Um, what time is it? It's 10 o'clock. I usually. I mean, I didn't really eat that much last night, which is kind of. Yeah. Oh, I missed that tackle completely. I didn't really eat a whole lot last night. Like I kind of had a late lunch, and I just didn't eat anything after that. So I'm kind of hungry. Oh, damn it! Hold on. I need to go to the grocery. I just remembered that. <laughs> I don't have any food here. I mean, I have some food, but. Where are you going, White? Oh, okay. I wasn't ready for that. He stopped his route, and then uh, kind of screwed me up. The offense did a good job of protecting the quarterback, and he threw a nice ball to get the first down. And the receiver ran a nice route to get open between the zone coverage. First, first and ten. ten. Ball on the 42. Ace backfield. All right, so we're doing something interesting here. We're putting Thomas Robinson in a soft zone, but I'm playing deep. Oh, oh. Casey Jackson, nice play. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the Really nice play. So that'll make it second down. Second and ten. Ball on the 42 yard line. Herman goes with the ace set here. Try to rotate around a little bit. Oh, another toss. Another. This is another pass. What are they doing? What are they doing, guys? <laughs> 
I want to hear their coach in the press conference. I will I will go to this press conference just to talk to their coach. Y'all need to stop running the halfback pass. I mean, we're playing pretty solid defense. Oh, now the sack. Now Ishmael Anderson gets in. <laughs> Let's go. Warm the bus. I need to change these signs. I keep forgetting to do that. <laughs> Look at Ishmael Anderson. The boos are coming out from the Furman fans. Or maybe just the... Maybe I'd be booing too. I, the Citadel, I'd be booing. I'd want, I'd want to see a good game. I mean, actually, no, I'm just kidding. A blowout's pretty fun too. But let's send a pump block. Why not? This would be the time we block a punt. Up 35 to nothing. No, that's, it's so hard to block punts. I don't know how to do it. I don't know what happened to Fox there. Oh, it bounced upwards. Oh, look at this. What the hell's the ball doing? <laughs> I'm going to dive on it. <laughs> that was a little uh, glitchy football there. I don't see, You don't see that very often in this game. There's really... The thing about this game is there's really no... There's not that many glitches. Like, obviously, like, the way the game was made, like, your animations, like, you know, the, 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 the collision points are not, you know, perfect at all. So, ha I mean, half the time you'll see, like, hit points and collision points where guys will, like... They'll deflect the pass, but they'll never actually touch it. It'll just bounce off like their hitbox. Um, but other than that, man, there's really not many glitches in this game. That's what I love about the PS2 era. Is I love that these games were released basically as is, you know. It's not like on these games now where they just release them screwed up and buggy. And, you know, just they can update it, whatever. And then you got, like... That's how you end up with like 100 gigabyte games. It's like they just, you know, if they were to fix all those issues in the initial release, Here's a look at the offensive it would be a little, it would be a lot smoother. But uh, that's what I love, man. This game, you know, was released in 2006. No updates, obviously. I mean, I don't know. Maybe unless they had a different version on Xbox or something. I really don't know. But ooh, uh, I tried to run with it. Uh, did I have a tight end wide open? I couldn't tell. Um, but yeah, I mean. And you you guys have seen it. I mean, if you've watched if you've watched all these videos, I mean, you can tell there's really not that many glitches or not that many bugs in this game. That's what I love about it. The things that are in this game, you just have to deal with. And you know, jump the snap a little bit. I think it's worse than 09 though. Honestly, that's what I've heard and I haven't, you know, it's been a while since I played 09. Oh, broken tackle. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Marcelo, what are you doing, man? I haven't played 09. He's going to get 1000. I think he can. We gotta get it. We'll probably get him more in the second half since it's a blowout. But I haven't played 09 in a while. But I, I I've heard jump the snap is worse on that one. Uh, so I think the biggest thing with this game is the turnovers and the momentum. But I don't mind the momentum. I mean, it's real life. We'll just run this with Townsend. <clears throat> you know, momentum is real life. Like you could be down 30. You could be up 30 to nothing. Or maybe not 30 to nothing, but you could be up 21 to nothing, and then all of a sudden this the team is going to – the other team's going to score, they're going to make a play, and they're suddenly going to show up. And, there's you know, you see comebacks all the time in football. Um, and so I do like that. I mean, it makes it so realistic because – oh, here we go. And the thing about this is I'm running an offense that's not the easiest to run. Triple option, it kind of limits your, your – um, capability um so we're probably gonna keep it you know i mean obviously you know if we start winning like national championships and our team just gets stacked we may we'll change it up but you know we're about to score another touchdown we're just gonna blow this one out but anyway yeah we're gonna talk we'll talk about all that stuff in the second half i mean there's so much i can talk about this game for days mcintyre's they're, they're just they're just they're done <laughs> 41 nothing that's this game's over if you guys want to stick with me, we'll just we'll talk about some stuff. Hope your all's day is going well. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll do like a face cam or something. I I have to get a webcam on my on my computer. I have a webcam, but I I actually brought it into my office because we were short in office, and I was like, I got this one at home. I'm not using it for anything right now. I'm pretty much working in the office every day. I have not worked remotely since. Well, I worked actually. I worked four days remotely over New Year's or before between Christmas and New Year's when I was back home. But uh, 
It's been pretty nice, man. I, I don't like I like working in the office. I don't like doing stuff at home. I get distracted too much. <laughs> like I've got this game. I, I got this game sitting here right in front of me. Like how can I work at home? All right. They're gonna run it. Yeah, it might be the last play. Oh, they call timeout. Okay. Well, they're gonna try to do something crazy here. Forty-two to nothing. I'll be honest, I was not expecting that. Um, I mean, like, yeah, it's the first half. Oh, I'm way too short. They might catch it. Oh my goodness. Well, I'll get them some yards. Sure. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a break here at halftime because this one's pretty much over. <laughs> I will see you guys in just a few. Peace. All right. What's up, guys? I would say welcome back, but this is all going to be in the same video. I'm actually doing a voiceover now since this game is completely... This game is completely blown out. 42 to nothing. Uh, we just had some fun with this one. We are up big. Uh, I, I really don't think Furman is going to come back. And I know for a fact... <laughs> I'm not going to spoil anything, of course. But yeah, it's, it's, it's about a week later. Uh, I haven't gotten around to actually... Uh, finishing the audio of this, I took a I took a little break. I recorded this first game early in the morning, or the first half I recorded early in the morning, and then I took a little break and just decided to finish up. So let's take a look at the stats. You can see we we everybody has a touchdown. Washington, McIntyre, Townsend, and Jackson all with a touchdown. Really great average. That's that's fantastic averages. Um, and then we got the pick six with Cameron Payne. I do remember that. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was a rivalry game. Furman. They were not ready for this. SEC is ours this year. Marcelo Washington, so he needed, what was he at? He, I, I want to say he was at 875 rushing yards coming in. So if we can get him another, if we can get him another 60 yards, he's going to be a thousand yard rusher. Uh, before the bowl game, we still have a bowl game, so, which I don't know how the bowl game is going to go, guys. So it'll be interesting. Uh, Robinson also had a pick. Ishmael Anderson with a sack, and that's nice to see. Pass, we've gotten some pass deflections. That's good. Casey Jackson getting in there. And then, yeah, Travis Payne with the pick six. I, I don't remember. I think that was pretty early on in the game. So, yeah, we're just going to have some fun, guys. Uh, feel free to comment. I do read all the comments. I am a little far ahead now. Uh, it's been about a week. <laughs> So I did get a little bit, a little far ahead, but I'm not going to spoil anything for you guys. Uh, recruiting is going to be fun to watch. And we're going to get in. I'm excited for season three, not to look ahead. But, uh, yeah, I want to just, uh, you know, you guys are watching. I, I've I noticed I'm getting pretty steady views. And like I said, I don't care too much about the views. I'm just doing this for my own fun and just to get some old PS2 some of the classic football games in here. I mean, you don't see these everywhere. Uh, obviously, ooh, okay. Yeah, we didn't have... Oh, we got the jump, though. That was good. So, I mean, obviously, NCAA 14 is all the the big rage right now. Um, of course, with the new EA football game coming out in a couple of years, that'll be... That'll be huge. Um, but, man, these old games are still fun. I mean, I grew up on them, obviously. And anybody that's played, you know, all, going all the way back to, like, 2003, I think, was the first one I played. Um, I was born in 95, so that was, you know, 2003, 2004. That was kind of around the time I started playing some games. I was fortunate enough to have a PS2 growing up. Uh, look at that. That was weird. <laughs> But yeah, McIntyre, he's carried the se he's carried us this season. Not as much as last year. We've had some we've had some help with Washington, and our defense has been solid. I mean, they're all freshmen except for Robinson. You guys know this. But I'm excited for next season. And ball game's already been recorded. Recruiting has already been recruited. Uh, recorded. Goodness. Um, so all that's going to be. I'm probably going to get that out pretty quickly. So. Oh, we were in the zone there, but McIntyre couldn't break it. So, yeah, but, guys, feel free. Any comments, any suggestions, uh, I do love hearing from you guys. You know, we've got – I know we got several several people watching, and uh, 
it's good to see, man. It's it's really cool to see. I really had no expectations when I started this series. I, I joined the. I, I started posting a little bit on the on the subreddit of NCA, and I started watching some a couple other YouTubers or well not YouTubers but just mostly on Twitch. I didn't get around to watching on you know live streams, but you know there are a couple other good series I like on this older version. Um, and I'll give a shout out next game. You'll see why. We'll give another shout out, but. Uh, yeah, we're having some fun. I mean, it's 42 to nothing. I'm literally, I think I'm just like running the clock as much as I can now because this game's over. We're just going to get prepared for the bowl game. Almost. I thought I, apparently I didn't, wasn't able to pitch it there. But we're going to, I think we're going to go forward doing no huddle here. Look, McIntyre is in the zone, so it'll be interesting to see if he, if he gets the ball. And see that formation we can audible into the flex bone and this is going to be mcintyre probably right up the middle here there it is big hole oh and look at this <laughs> oh i love it that's a beautiful play because then they're, they're not ready for that audible we come out and shotgun and then we audible into the flex bone and it's they're just not ready for it So how do we feel about our first conference championship game? I was not expecting 42 to nothing at halftime. Uh, and you know what's funny is that like we haven't, you know, we've gotten two interceptions and we've run the ball on them. We we did hit a big pass play in the first half. I remember that. I think I don't ever win, but I know we hit a pass play to McIntyre. So I was kind of I was kind of debating on just either doing a voiceover or just letting you guys watch the rest of this game if you wanted to um and i can't decide i may i may try to get through as most as much as i can i may actually skip to the end here and just wrap up after the game we may we may do that i'm not sure though i kind of think if we score one more touchdown here i think what i'm going to do instead of doing a voiceover the whole game will be uploaded on YouTube, so you're more than welcome. If you want to watch the whole game, please do. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do is maybe skip to the end because this game, it's just a blowout. There's no real reason to, you know, I'll, I'll keep the game recorded. I mean, obviously I did record the whole game, so I'll keep it uploaded on YouTube. But I think all I want to do is just skip to the end of the game and end the audio. So we'll see if we can get, we we'll see if we can score a touchdown here, though. Ooh, we got hit in the backfield, though. Well, I think we'll kick the field goal, yeah. Did I kick field goal here? I don't remember. Probably did. Yeah, so I mean this one's under control. We've already we've already taken out almost half of the third quarter on this drive alone. So guys, I'm gonna cut out the audio here. And if you watch all the way through, I give you a shout out. And if not, I'll put a I'll put a timestamp. I'll try to make sure I put a timestamp of this one to the end of the game so that way you guys can pick up on the uh, into the season what everything looks like and our bowl game we'll probably get into that so i will see you guys in a bit Lines up as a single back. Gant on the top. Robinson brings him down for a loss. Instead of running around the defenders, he ran right into them. I don't think it mattered if he ran left or right or over the top. They just lost the battle up front. Second From their own 21-yard line. Ball Ball second down with about 12 line. yards to go. Furman goes with the ace set here. Gant gets the ball. Sheds one tackler. Tackle made at the 44. Nice gain for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counterplay. The blocking was straight up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. First, First ten. down, 10 to ball go. On 44. Ball on their own 44. Gant 
is the deep back as they line up in the eye. White, active pass. Drawfoot. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Second We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 43 yard line. The Paladin come out in the ace formation. They'll go with the run once again. Tackle at the 49 yard line. They call his number and he carries for six yards. From their own 49 yard line. Third and five situation. Gans lines up in the deep back, eye formation. And he's tackled in the open field. And they just stuffed that one. Hey, this is a great play here by the defense to bring him down before he can get to the sticks. Fourth and two. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Nicholas back deep to return to Tofi. Punts it, and it doesn't look like he got all of that one. Nicholas. Calls for the fair catch. The defense was able to keep him out of the end zone on their last possession, but the offense... First and ten. Ball on their own twenty. First and ten. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Jackson comes away with two yards on the carry. So that'll make it second down. Second, Second and eight, eight coming up here. Ball, ball on the 22-yard line. Yard. Let's see. Do one of the linemen move first? Outside. Well, the offense is helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. Second, Second down. Three. Ball on the 27-yard line. Blocking He's taken down at the 28-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. It's third down and two to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. They'll bring him down at the 33-yard line. They keep it on the ground and get the first down. Good call there on third down by the old head coach. Yeah, and also give credit to the big boys up front. They did an excellent job of allowing the back to get nice yardage there. First it's ten. first down. Ball on the 33-yard line. The Paladins bring in the nickel package. Hands off. The ball came free, and they fall on the loose ball. The 10, and he will score. Scoop and score, boy. That's a great way to pick up six points. These guys don't get the score every day, so these are really special touchdowns. There is nothing more that helps a team get fired up than a turnover return for a touchdown. This is really going to help their momentum going into the next series. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the third quarter with the score, the Citadel, 45, Furman, 7. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends it off. The last
last time they had the ball, they gave it away on the fumble. The old ball coach was not too happy about that either. I didn't see that, but it happens again. First and ten, ball on the 20-yard line. They come out in a nickel. Burt gives it up the middle. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. Jane picks up about seven yards on the run, so that'll make it second down. Unless we see some sort of miracle, this one's pretty much over. Heading to the fourth. Our score, the Citadel, 45, Furman, 7. Second, Second down, three. three yards to go. Ball on the 27. Inside handoff. And he's taken down at the 32-yard line. A flag was thrown during the tackle, and I think everybody in the stadium saw that face mask. First of all, face mask on the defense. And the First defense down. gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. First, First down, ten. 10 yards to Ball go. On the 47. Ball on the 47. Line up in a nickel back. Birch hands off. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. And the defensive end comes up with a big play. Boy, he's quick as a cat, no question. He got tremendous penetration and was able to wrap him up for a loss there. Second, Second down. down. Birch lines up with four wideouts. Birch drops back, looks. Birch fires it left. Whitworth with a takedown at the 48-yard line. The defense is all over that pass. Like glue. I'm telling you, this defense is tough. Third it's third and nine. Ball right around midfield. Birch lines up in the shotgun. Looks to pass. Surveys the field. Slings it. And it's the senior. Excellent open field tackle. Now that's what you have to do on third and long. Yep. He went right at him and hit him in the mouth. That's a great conversion to get the first down. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. And down he goes at the 35-yard line. They got a little bit there, but less than a yard. They'll line up at the 35. Ball on the 35 it's second and nine. Tackle at the 31. A four-yard pickup by the fullback. They'll line it up again on third Ball down. on the 31-yard line. Washington, the ball carrier. He spins around. Bussing tackles him at the 28. And they'll still be a little short of the first down line. Well, 
They get some positive yards, but this defensive line really busted through and broke that play up. Yep, great play by the defense to step up and force the fourth down. Four point down, and the offense is still on the field. fake. Birch delivers. The ball is tipped. They hold on fourth down. Now that's how you get a team motivated. Well, I would be surprised to yards. see their offense take First the field with an explosive power attack. They shift on the defensive line. White gives it up the middle. Edwards with the tackle at the 32. The halfback runs for four yards. Second and six. Ball on the 32-yard line. White comes to the line with three wide. Gant, again, a little juke. He's tackled at the 34-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. They line up at the 34. It's third and four. The D line shifts over. And they'll run him again. He's taken down at the 44. And that run was good for big yardage there. Here's one thing I noticed, Kirk. It looked like they ran the same play twice in a row. Twice. And let me tell you, if they continue to have success like this, I wouldn't be surprised if they run it maybe three, maybe even four times in a row. They line up at the 44. It's first down. White has trips to the right. Gant takes the pitch. Wow, that was the cornerback who got into the backfield there. How about that for some run support? Well, when you've got a guy that can cover receivers and come in and make big hits in a running game, then you know you've got a special cornerback. This guy can cover like a corner and hit like a safety. That is something special. From their own 44-yard line, second down and 10 to go. to the tailback. Nicholas brings him down at the 47. Three-yard gain by the halfback on the counter play. Third down. Third seven. Ball on the 47-yard line. Furman sets up in the eye. White set to go to the air. Looking. Wants to throw outside. Got it. To the 20. He's all the way down. To the 8. He got it to the receiver in a hurry. That ball was on a line. The defense couldn't knock it down because they couldn't see it. It was a laser beam. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone. Brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone. When performance matters most. The Paladin line up with a single set backfield. Cunningham, back to throw, steps up in the pocket, throws it, he's got it, touchdown! Looked like the defense just forgot about the tight end on that play. Yeah, he seemed to slip right through the secondary and find an opening. I can't believe the defense allowed that to happen. Especially in the red zone, Kirk, they gotta be aware of this guy's pass-catching ability. And he hits the PAT. And now we're gonna take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. The onside kick seems to be the only option here. Here goes nothing. That'll be enough to put this one away. Yeah, but give them credit. They played hard today. They just didn't catch the lucky breaks they needed. They'll set up shop at the 44-yard line. Here's the give. Home with the tackle at the 47-yard line. A gain of three yards by the fullback.
second, second down. down. Ball on the 47 yard line. Seven. Nothing gained on the play. Third, it's third seven. down. Ball on the 47 yard line. Furman comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Carlson with a takedown at the 50 yard line. Furman calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. The Citadel lining up the punt. Gant is back awaiting the punt. Plenty of hang time on this one. Gant fields it at the 17. At the 40. Down the sideline. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. And they're going to bring this one all the way back. Touchdown. That was a great return, but it's just too little, too late. It may be too late for these guys today, but at least they have something positive to take out of this game. And looking forward, I think they'll be able to learn a lot of lessons from this game, and it should make them a better team in the long run. And he adds the extra point. So with less than a minute to go in the fourth quarter, the score is the Citadel 45, Furman 21. The Citadel just took their first time out. They need to get the ball back. Looks like they'll line up for the onside kick. Here's the onside. Herman has their hands team on the field for the onside kick. Here it goes. They'll be able to run this one out now. Yep, it's all over. Kirk, sweetheart, could you start my car? I want to beat this They'll traffic out of here. What are you talking about? You take a limo. I'm not touching your car. That thing's bad luck. Lightning hit my car. The Paladin bring in the nickel pack. James on the run. Carlson with the tackle at the 37. Two yard carry by the fullback. Second, the 37 yard line. On the Second down. Furman yeah. lines up in a dime defense here. All right, guys, that is the end of the game. I'm back on the audio. You can see if you, if you watch all the way through, they actually did score a little bit, and we kind of just put in our backups just to get healthy. and I mean, just keep everybody healthy. Um, so nothing exciting, really. I don't think anything exciting happened in the second half. I honestly don't remember, to be honest. <laughs> uh, we didn't score anymore after that field goal in the third quarter. So but how about this? Conference championships. That's nice to see. We get a trophy. We get a trophy added to our trophy case, and I'm we're ready for a bowl game. It looks like the Sugar Bowl. Is that what they were? They were projecting us to go to the Sugar Bowl against Army. We'll see how that looks after we wrap up the rest of this week. So 45-21 is the final score. If you guys did skip around, not a whole lot really happened, I don't think. Uh, we'll go through all the stats here to wrap up. Uh, the video is going to be about, I'm like, I think I've got like four more minutes left on the video. Uh, we did throw a couple passes with Burge. McIntyre, we did get 170 yards, 107. I also didn't really run it much with Washington. I just want to keep him healthy. 
because uh, we need him for the bowl game. We put in James and Jackson for a lot there at the end of the game, especially in the fourth quarter. Uh, and, yeah, so overall good performance. Uh, got a couple more tackles for a loss. Uh, but yeah, they scored they scored three touchdowns on us, and we weren't really you know it wasn't that big of a deal. It just made the score look better for them. Honestly, it's a rivalry game. We gotta we gotta make it a little respectable. Apparently, um, I forgot they uh, we gave up a punt return and a defensive touchdown, so that didn't help. <laughs> really, our defense played well. So there it is. There's our trophy. It is beautiful. 2007 SEC champions. So, Northern Illinois, we beat them at the start of the season. They're still ranked number five. They only lost one of their game. That's interesting. Um, we'll simulate the rest of the conference championship real quick, and then we will get into our bowl game. We'll get into the preview of that. So, Northern Illinois got rocked. And look at that. Northwestern State, the freaking demons, win the Big 12. So, at least... At least our only loss was to a ranked team. It doesn't look as bad now. And they they were pretty solid. I will give them that. But I think guys, I think we have to schedule them next year. I think we have to bring them to to Charleston next year and show them what's up. I don't know how you feel about that, but I think we're going to do it. I don't love to mess with the schedule too much. Oh, here we go. Edwards, yeah, Edwards won the Thorpe. Um, but yeah, I think we'll bring them in to Charleston. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Well, that's a shocker. We were supposed to play Army, but now Fresno State. Okay. Expanding man. <laughs> if you're watching this, or if you know this, if you know that any of you guys know him on YouTube, that's his team. Um, Fresno State. Oh, we're got Heisman's finalist. I forgot about that. Who's a? Is it? I guess McIntyre. I didn't realize he got in. Okay. Well, I guess we'll see who won the Heisman. It makes you. I guess you can skip through this, but it. It does automatically invite you if you're a top Thank five you candidate. We'll Robert Allen. These are all made-up names, by the way. There's McIntyre. Okay, yeah, McIntyre. North Carolina. Quarterback from Hawaii. 50 touchdowns. Receiver in there. Interesting. And another quarterback. I bet it's that UNLE quarterback. He was the Maxwell winner, right? Congratulations. Oh, no, it's the Hawaii quarterback. Okay. Well, he had 4,000 passing yards. I honestly, guys, it's been a long time since I played uh, a passing dynasty. Is that a lot? 4,000? Is that a lot of passing yards? That's what... That's a lot of math I can't do. That's well over 300, 350. That's over 350 yards per game. I mean, 12-game season. So, interesting. We get Fresno State. How do we feel about this? Because Fresno State is a pretty good team, and we are not yet. We're young, and we're inexperienced, and we don't have depth at all. Oh my goodness, they're a B. Look at their defense. They're a solid B on defense. We we have a C minus defense, but we're still a D plus overall. This is gonna be really hard. This is gonna be really hard, guys. I look at the rush defense. Oh no. Look at this. The number one rush offense versus the number one rush defense. How how could NCAA have done that? They would put us up against the number one rush defense in the country. That is great. Well, how about the national championship? Two, S two FCS teams, Tennessee State and Towson. That's pretty cool. A Towson's a C overall. That's pretty good for only – look at their 19-game win streak. Wow. Well, that's a, that'd be a cool game, but I, how do we feel about this? I don't know. They're a B overall. They're better than Vanderbilt, and we got smacked around by Vanderbilt last season. So we'll see, you guys. Bowl game will be coming up next. Hope you all enjoy it. Peace.